you guys, how are you doing? This is my next section. I'm here today to bring you a review for Fairy Tale Manga Chapter 529. So, the majority of the chapter is a cat and mouse chase. Obviously, you know, the mouse being Pegasus. Ah, oh, the ship, the ship of Wendy and all of them on there. They're the mouse, and the cat obviously being technology. Are. So, that's the majority of the chapter. And we find out that this mystery person that was, was somewhat revealed last chapter is in fact Anna, Lucy's ancestor. Now, believe believe it or not, because I didn't mention it in my review last week, but I did have, it just came to me that, oh, I had a feeling that this was Anna, and it did turn out to be Anna, but I have no proof, but like I didn't state it in my last review, so believe it or not, it's not something that I would lie about anyway, you know, so, but, you know, but, you know believe it or not, if you, if you want. But apparently, She's come back, or I should say, she came through with the Dragon Slayers. And now, when I read this in the chapter, I was thinking to myself, okay, that's fine. Where have you been all this time? And then, you know, as the chapter goes on, we just learn different things about Anna. The first thing that we learn, or one of the first things that we learn, is that how she taught Natsu, Wendy, Gajo, Sting, Rogue, she was their teacher. She taught them English, how to read, how to write, them kind of things. Obviously, Dragon Slayer Magic was taught by their dragons. So we learned that we learned that first. And then we also find out that what she's been doing all this time is trying to find out a way to be acknowledged. And that's fine. But it's kind of hard to believe that this wasn't just thrown into the series. Like Kira was thinking, do you know what I could, what, this is what I think happened. Hero realized, do you know what, he's created a really strong character and he just found it hard to believe. So he pieced this idea, whatever, whatever happens, it was his idea and he just pieced it together, out, kind of out of the blue kind of, but it does actually fit. And what I'm trying to get to is that he could have built up to this whole Anna knowing how to defeat Ignacio reveal on um, um, reveal, and he could have done it in the perfect way to have done it would have been to do all, everything that I'm about to list. But he could have just even done even if he did one or two of them, it still would have made it more believable. But that Anna was the key. Well, she's not technically the key, but you know her knowing how to defeat Ignacio was more believable. And the way she could have done this is simply in the following ways. So when Gildas was introduced and he came back and he had that talk with Natsu, there should have been or there could have been a mention of her death back there and then. So a simple, you know, Gildas was talking to Natsu and he's like, Do you know what, Natsu, when I was on my journey, I met this lady. She was also looking for a way to be acknowledged. Another way we could have added to this is just have a simple, random scene, you know, just like like when we're segueing into a new arc and we just see this girl, obviously when they've been Anna's, you know, we didn't have to show her face, she could have been cloaked up, she's just walking in and we just have her having a little monologue about Sukhan, about um, finding a way to be acknowledged. Another way that could have added to this is if we had when the dragons were saying their goodbye to you know Natsu and company again that they just mentioned there's someone out there looking for a way to be acknowledged again you don't need to mention their names but just throw it out there so when it came to this reveal within this chapter it just wasn't completely out of the blue um yeah so that's everything just involving her knowing how to be acknowledged that kind of bugged me a little bit I also have another problem so Anna is Lucy's ancestor, and now we know, obviously, well, Anna is in present day time, and that is fine. But my whole point is, at some point, she needs to go back in time to have all the, um, I think the word I'm looking for is predecessors that lead up to Lucy, basically. So we don't know how down the line Anna is. But guess assume that she came from 400 years ago, you know, there must be more. 
more people to be born after Anna, before Lucy's mum, before Lucy. So at some point, Anna does need to go back in time because if she dies, plot hole, fat, fat plot hole. Unless I'm missing something. If you know what I'm missing, let me know in the comment section. So, yeah, that's another thing. So, she goes on about how she knows a way to defeat Acknowledia. And now, based on what she was saying within the chapter, she was saying how about um, sealing it. And basically, the vibe I was getting was reverse its time. And based on the chapter of the next, based on the title of the next chapter, which is Neo um, Eclipse, what I'm thinking they're going to do is still acknowledge you in a sort of an eclipse um, gate. Was it called the eclipse gate? Yeah, we'll see it in the eclipse gate. And what this gate is going to do is reverse acknowledge time by himself and just consume him back to nothing, essentially killing him. This shouldn't work because acknowledge you can consume magic. We know this from the last chapter that he can consume magic. He's a dragon slayer that can eat any type of magic. So this shouldn't work for that, that reason. I am now going to tell you the most realistic way to be acknowledged here. Blast acknowledge. Well, this is very simple, you know. Blast him with Fairy Heart. We know that Fairy Heart is an unlimited resource of magic. So, yes, in the beginning of the attack, acknowledge you can eat. But eventually he will get full, eventually he won't be able to take no more, so the remaining result of the attack will take him out. That is the most easiest way and the most realistic way to be a manager. Here, if you're watching this, it is not too late to change your mind. So work on that. That's the majority of the chapter. The rest of the chapter was just Natsu and Zarif, they were fighting. Zarif is going mad, he's like, and, and, crazy as, crazy as, what do you do? And then we had this little scene where Lucy holding on to the Book of End, crying over how Nazi is not a normal boy. And you know, that was the chapter, but that's everything we've got to say about the chapter. I'm going to give it, you know, I think it's like four, you know, we're, we're getting along nicely, surely, so I'll give it a four star rating. Like yeah, always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you have not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care, have a nice day.